browsing Steam looking for some cheap games because you can get some cheap ass games on there. I mean, who wouldn't want Pongo for 24 cents? What the fuck is happening? So while I was browsing, I came across this game called Plush. Now, being the incredibly macho man that I am, I have no interest in stuffed animals, so I just ignored it. Actually, I'm a giant man-child who loves plushies and was interested in the game the second I saw it. So what is plush? At first I thought it was going to be one of those indie horror games about killer cute things that are all the rage these days, but actually, it's a physics-based puzzle game developed by Redhead Games, where you help a little girl organize her many, many, many stuffed animals on her bed before she goes to sleep. While that doesn't sound incredibly fun, I promise you, it's pretty fun. The first few levels introduce you to the basics by way of a narrator who sounds like everybody's grandfather. It's pretty funny listening to this guy talk about the plushies and using their names like Mr. Stinky Pants. Mr. Stinky Pants is a cheerful stuffed animal and is happy in almost any circumstance. But we don't need these tutorials. It's a game about stuffed animals. How hard could it be? Get that out of here. <clears throat> but I guess you knew that already. Ah, uh, jeez, uh, I'm sorry, Tutorial Grandpa. I didn't realize I would hurt your feelings if I closed that box. G go on, tell me about the scaredy cats. Scaredy cats like to snuggle up with other stuffed animals, but they are startled easily. The entire game takes place in this little girl's room, specifically on her bed, and the whole point is to place each plush with another plush to sleep with according to this girl's childlike rules. Each plush behaves a different way. For example, the unicorn is a stuck-up piece of shit and doesn't like to lay with anything, except for the donkeys, which have to lay with the unicorn. The cats like to cuddle with other plushies, but get startled and jump away when you drag one near them, so you have to move the cat to the plush instead of the other way around. You can tell how much space you have to play with by these glowing lights around the plush that show where another plush needs to be in order to satisfy their sleeping needs. Red is bad and green is good. Other impediments also come into play as the game goes on, such as pillows, which for whatever reason act as barriers that stuffed animals can't get by, and toy tanks, which none of the plush like to be near and can only be cleared out by ramming them with the hippo, appropriately named Mr. Biggenbottom. The game says that these tanks belong to her little brother, which makes sense, but man, why does he have so many tanks? What parent buys their child so many toy tanks? Alright, sure, we all played with army men, and tanks are cool, but that is an unnecessary number of toy tanks. That is how Fast and the Furious villains are born. Somebody do something! I got a tank on my ass! And from there, it's just a matter of solving each stage's different puzzle. It's not a particularly hard or long game. There's only 40 stages, and I beat them all in under an hour, but it's strangely relaxing. In an industry filled with gritty war shooters, competitive online fantasy games, and endless runners that want to eat at your wallet, it's nice to just play a cute little game about organizing a child's room. It seems like an idea that wouldn't work, but it's oddly pacifying. It just puts you in a good, laid-back mood. It does what any good puzzle game should, and I think that makes it worth playing. If you are looking for a bit more of a challenge, there are other difficulty modes that remove the indicator around the plushies telling you where they can go, or restart the stage if an animal touches the floor, which seems impossible to me because I use the floor to cheat a lot. Or if you're looking to just have some chaotic plush-related fun, you can go to the playroom mode, which allows you to spawn as many of each of the plushies as you want and just drag them around. I like to drag Mr. Biggenbottom around and just watch everything go flying. But apparently, if I spawn too much happiness, my computer lags and the color scheme changes to Windows 7 Basic, so maybe it's time for bed. So that was Plush. It's a cute little game. If you're interested in it and liked what you saw, well, you can go ahead and check it out on Steam. It's only like four bucks or something like that. I don't think it's on sale anymore. It's also available on your mobile devices. There's a free demo you can download to play. I actually think it might be better suited on mobile devices because of the touchscreen controls to drag and drop the stuffed animals. So, yeah, check it out. And if not, thanks for watching the video at least. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go play with my plush. Oh, that one, that one wasn't, that one wasn't a, that one was not a plush.
Look, even the even the cat loves plush. Thank you for watching this video. I know it was kind of short compared to my other like two video game related videos, but I might do that from time to time. Just make a short little video talking about a game I recently discovered and really enjoy and want to share with the world. There's nothing wrong with that. It's my channel. I can do what the fuck I want. Anyway, if you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos eventually, maybe. If you want to check out another video from me, you can check out my Zoo Tycoon review. I had a lot of fun with that one, so uh, check it out. Thank you for watching, guys and gals and dolls and plushies and tanks.